Jays Extra. Welcome back to the Anglers Extra pregame show. Chatham and Katuit for the second time this season at Lowell Park. Time for the manager show with Chatham manager Tom Holliday, Emmanuel Barbari. Tom, your team's won three of four, three of them against first place teams at the time. What's the mood like around the team? Well, I, I think that um, they're, they're I, I actually think they're getting to know each other a little bit and you know, you work so hard to try to get a lineup together where kids can, you know, they come to the yard, they almost figured out my rotation right now and trying to rest a guy after he plays a couple games and not take it personal. Like when I don't play, like, oh, I did something wrong. It's time to go home, you know. So now they're starting to figure out I'm trying to give guys rest after two days. And, um, and really, we don't have that many position players to begin with. So anyway, the the uh, the mood is like, uh, where are we tomorrow? And, and I knew that would set in, and uh, they, we get to play again tomorrow, win or lose. So they're loose, you know. They're not. There's nobody tight. I think they've understood now what I meant when I told them early on: don't try hard, just just give the game all you got. Uh, kids that, that make an error now, you know, you still see a little bit of a kind of a frustrated look on their face or a frustrated reaction. And you just try to explain to them that um, you're not you're not going to get taken out. You're not going to get benched for that. You know. Now I'm going to be more concerned if you miscarry yourself. You know. Just just that, that's it. Nobody makes an error on purpose. Nobody strikes out on purpose. Those people are cuckoo. You know. And so anyway, the the bottom line is is uh, I think they're starting to understand what baseball is all about at this level. Yesterday we talked about the Vandy duo of Max Romero and Matt Hogan. But another duo from UNC has really helped this team. Danny Ceretti leading off yesterday on base every single plate appearance. And then you have Johnny Castagnazzi who's driving in a lot of runs. How pleased have you been with their performance? Well, again, you know, Ceretti was an add-on, and uh, he had a thing going with the draft that was that was very important to him. And when his agent said, Tommy needs to play, it's not going to happen. Uh, my only question was, you know, is he going to give me 100%? Or is his heart broken because of the draft? And he said, no. He said he wants to play and everything. And Castagnazzi is a guy that a good friend of mine told me to take him back in September of last year. And uh, they, you know, they're from the same school. They're, they're buddies. Uh, Castagnazzi has got major league tools written all over him. Uh, Ceretti is probably playing a position that some people have told me that he needs to play at second base. Uh, maybe the hangup was or question was on him at shortstop. I don't know. It's, where, it's just what I'm told. But uh, he can play short for me in, in a pinch. Uh, but the bottom line is they're, they're both playing pretty good. I think everyday baseball catches up with all of them. Uh, last night, you know, he was just exhausted, and I had to take him out in the ninth inning or eighth inning. I don't know how many innings we played last night, eight or whatever. But, uh, you know, it's one of those things where we do have an extra infielder, and I try to play him as much as I can. So I'm, I'm happy with I'm happy with all the kids, really, because I think they're, they're understanding. And the commitment you look for this time of the year is that you finish the deal. Don't don't bail out on a phone call. Don't bail out on a on a muscle strain. I mean, those things happen in baseball. So we'll see. We'll see. Speaking of staying committed, your starter tonight, Adam Tulloch, was drafted in the 17th round by the Dodgers this past week, and he's taking the ball. He's betting on himself. What does that say about him knowing him for so long? No, I mean this is the way the baseball world works. I mean, he was drafted. He's uh, he's got a dollar figure. If it doesn't happen, he's going to stay here and pitch, and he's going to go to a school. He's a young 21-year-old. He feels like he's getting better. You know, he felt like last summer he made a big jump. Uh, he feels good about himself. Um, he loves his pitching coach here. And, you know, quite frankly, uh, if the Dodgers don't sign him, then they don't sign him. And he'll he'll make somebody a pretty darn good pitching prospect. And, uh, and next year... He'll be uh, he'll be drafted again, and life moves on. Not everybody signs just because they get drafted. What's the biggest difference last summer to this summer for him, seeing in both summers? I think last summer his breaking ball was a little bit bigger, a little bit better. He threw it more often. I think right now he's kind of like figured out how to pitch up and down, in and out with his fastball. And uh, I think if that breaking ball that I had last summer with him comes back, I mean he's like he'll be lights out. He's already really good, so. You know, it kind of comes and goes. Kids learn at different paces. And uh, one thing about him, he loves the he loves the pitch, and he loves to come to the field. And believe me, that's a hard combination to find. 
Tom, thanks for your time. Good luck tonight. You bet. A shadow manager, Tom Holiday, on the manager show. Let's send it right back to Ben Shulman. The Anglers Extra Pregame Show rolls on.